Message coming in. Patching it through. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. We're detecting your presence in the Attican Beta Cluster. One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. You need to go groundside and recover the drone's data module before the Geth find it. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to more of the original Mass Effect. Hill here. And we are in the Attican Beta Cluster in the Hercules system, about to land on the planet Elatania. And as I was saying in the last episode, this is a significant planet because earlier on in the game, when we met with the consort on the Citadel, she gave us a trinket. This planet is where that trinket comes into play. All right, let's go ahead and get our landing party together. Oh, well, actually, we need to read up on Elatania. We have a level one toxic hazard. Elatania appears to be a world eminently suited for colonization. Really, with a toxic one ha- Anyway, sadly, <laughs> appearances are deceiving, yes very much so. It is covered by a verdant carpet of mosses, algae, and lichen, and possesses a thick oxygenated atmosphere. But the animal kingdom is a web of microscopic symbiotic creatures. These are impossible to filter from the air and necessary for the native life to thrive. Unfortunately, they, off <laughs> they also cause anaphylactic shock when inhaled by non-native life. That's not good, people. Not good at all. In short, settlement requires either fully sealed environment suits or replacement of the entire world's ecosystem. Some have proposed limited colonization at altitudes above the symbiotic's range or in areas where favorable winds keep the air clear. All right, so anaphylactic shock aside, let's go ahead and get our landing party together. And we're gonna go ahead um, with Rex. And I think we're gonna take Tally again. Elatania Planetfall successful. Let's bring up our map. All right, unfortunately, it looks like there's not much here. So let's head to the anomaly. What, what is this here, though? A, a downed recon probe and debris. All right, heading to the anomaly first. Just love these wide open areas. I wonder, could there be a Thresher Maw underneath? that lush green carpet. But you know what? We are probably not going to find out. I have anything to say about it. Oh boy, another one of these uh, treacherous terrain planets. Wow, wow is this treacherous. Okay. All right, we're struggling, but we're making it we're getting closer. We have a proximity beacon emanating on our radar. Come on, you can do it, Mako. You can do it.
And this should be our very last side mission if you want to... Oh, look. There it is. This should be our last side mission. And after this, we are going to Ilos. Look at this. have to make this quick because this is a level one hazard. Let's go. All right, let's recover. And of course, we're running out of time. Ha <laughs> ha Try it again. Got it. Mysterious globe. Get that. Okay, so the hazard is being held at bay for the moment. It's pretty cool. All right. Examining the strange Prothean artifact reveals a small, irregular slot on the underside of the surface. Remembering the strange trinket you received from the Asari consort on the citadel, you pull it out and place it into the slot. The ball explodes in a brilliant flash of white light, momentarily blinding and disorienting you. Slowly, your senses return as you wake from a deep sleep. You are alone in the forest, though you are not far from the caves you share with the others of your tribe. There is a pain and a small lump in the back of your skull, as if a chip of flint has been forced under the surface of the skin. Leaning on your bone-tipped spear for support, you rise to your feet. A sound draws your attention upwards, where a strange creature hovers high above you. It is unlike the birds you hunt by the lake's edge. It has no head and no wings, yet somehow it flies. It is a beast of shining silver, hanging motionless in the sky like a cloud. You sense it, watching you, studying you. Raising a hairy fist, you shake your spear at it in anger, and the creature rises up quickly until it disappears from view. With a satisfied grunt, you make your way back to your caves and the rest of the tribe. You fall into the familiar patterns of life, the hunt for food, the struggle to claim and keep a mate, the battles against other tribes that would claim your territory. Days roll into nights, and back into days. Each time you rise from your sleep, there is the sensation that you are not alone, that some other is with you, sharing all you see, hear, and feel. At these times, your hand goes to the strange lump at the back of your skull, and you remember the silver creature in the sky. The air grows colder, Winter falls. You must range farther for food, clutching the furs tight against you as you ward off the chill. It is on one of these long hunts that the strange bird returns. You hear it before you see it. Its call a deafening roar as it descends from above, swooping down on you. A single great eye opens on the underbelly a glowing red orb. You try to run, but a finger of red light extends from its eye and engulfs you. And all goes black again. You wake an instant later to find yourself on Elitania, lying on your back. 
the Prothean artifact looming above you undamaged and your companion standing over you. They help you to your feet, puzzled. There was a flash of light and you just sort of toppled over, one explains. Are you okay, Shepard? The other asks. You don't answer right away, wondering at the implications of what you've seen, the memories of a Cro-Magnon hunter captured by an implanted Prothean data recorder. How long did they study the primitive humans, observing them and analyzing the results at their base on Mars? And what, if anything, did they learn from us? I'm fine, you finally reply, realizing this is a mystery you will probably never solve. Forget about it. All right. Let's get out of here. It's too bad they couldn't have uh, actually done a cutscene for this. <laughs> it's like, but this is the way Bioware games were um, back in the day. Like, uh, I think Dragon Age Origins had these sorts of... Um, dialogue, dramatic dialogue readings that you would have to do, but yeah, I mean, you know, it cost a lot, it was difficult, you know, to, to do all sorts of the cutscenes that should have been in the game, you know, they had to cut quarters somewhere, so thus, you get a dramatic reading from Hill, and I hope you enjoyed it. All right, so we're going over here to what our mission was from Admiral Hackett about this probe that we don't want the Geth to get their hands on. And we are just really having a great time, I'm being facetious, trying to across this terrain. Really, they, they could have just put hills on these planets rather than these really, really steep mountains. Okay, so we're going across the flat plain after all and hoping that there is no Thresher Maw that's going to pop up. Even though, you know, I have my tactics, I know how to take them out. Just don't like them. Don't like dealing with them. All right a pulse here. We are close to something. And... Where is it? Not there. Here. And look at this. Look like pie jacks. Oh my goodness. Look at the tongue sticking out. Wow. What what killed it? Alright, let's this go. This is the surveillance drone. But where's the data module? That's a good question. A monkey-like creature seems to have made off with the data module. So these monkey-like creatures. As we know it. Yes, we're doing this the hard way. Yes, as we know it, these are pie jacks. Look at the tongue. My goodness. Wow, what? That is a very uh, unglamorous way to die. Even for a pie jack. Okay, I see some mineral deposit over here. Go and grab that before we take off looking for the pie jack that stole the data module.
Okay, let's get back in the Mako. Let's check our map. Alright, now, what, what was this over here? Did we... Weren't we at this anomaly? Anyway, we're, we're gonna head on. We're heading on to this debris. And, um... I know from doing my research that we need to go to this monkey colony in the uh, northern part of the map here. Northern right part, uppermost northern right. So we'll go there next, but let's go to the debris field. See what's up with that. Yeah, the anomaly is that um, sphere, the silver sphere, and it's still being marked as a question mark. I don't appreciate that, and you're trying to make me go back there again. Whatever happened to the dynamic markers? They were working on most of the other planets. <laughs> oh well. So I don't know how much of a completionist run this was. It seems like we did knock out almost everything. I think there are, there are a few things that items that we didn't gather. And there may have been a couple of side missions that we missed. But overall, I think this has been a pretty thorough playthrough. say it has been a joy to be back playing Mass Effect again. And, you know, I'm disappointed in the newer games that are coming out that just, I don't know, they just don't have the appeal for me that some of these classic games do. All right. Crashed Probe. Anything valuable here, I wonder. Frictionless materials? Um, I'll take that. And off camera, we'll do upgrades on our equipment. So as not to bore you guys. Alright, um... Map Monkey Colony. All right, let's see. How are we going to get to this col? Oh, okay. It might not be that difficult. I think I see it in the distance now. It's a lot closer than it looked on the map. That was a little extreme, wasn't it? Hmm, I don't get any um, experience for killing them. Alright, let's get on inside here. Sources tell me that there is a monkey in here that has the data module that we're... <gasps> oh, good lord, it's just a monkey. Wow. See, this is why I don't play um, survival horror games, because I tell you, I am just too scary for that. Alright, none of these monkeys have the module. There is a locked crate, though. 
You know, that's a shame. Here I'm jumping at a monkey. <laughs> okay. Uh, we don't need the sniper rifle. No one can currently wear human armor. That's our med uh, medium armor. So we get rid of that too. It's a shame. Guard. There are monkeys in here. Don't anyone jump or scream. Or pie jacks, as we were calling them earlier. Gel these items. Okay, this monkey does not have the object I seek. All right, we have two doors here. I guess it doesn't matter which one we go in first, hopefully. I don't know if it does or not. We'll, we'll see. Okay, here's a monkey here. He does not have the module. What about this one? He, he dropped the data module. It's a miracle the data module is still intact. Joker should be able to transmit this info to Alliance Command. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's see if I can't get in this. Uh, Okay, well, anyway. All right, uh, Omni Gel, Omni Gel. Let's see, Turian armor, Duelist 10. I don't think the Duelist was any good, but I think um, Garrus is all set. We'll go ahead and Omni Gel that too. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and save here. And where's the door? Alright, let's go. Uh-oh. Got an enemy on radar. I hear Geth. Alright, barriers up, people. Where are they? Oh, there's one. Tally, what can you do from this distance? Help! And tally again. Take some sabotage. Warp. Warp. Death Destroyer, Tally. Hack it. Wait. It's a. It's. Oh, really? What happened to hacking? Alright, since you guys want to stand so close together. How about a little singularity? Barrier up. Tally, can you use overload on that? 
Garrus, how about Carnage? Not Garrus, but whatever your name is, Rats. Alright, we got... Nope, still another one. Got him. You know, I keep calling these, these guys Rex and Garrus the wrong names. Anyhow, let's get down. We didn't get, get down into this one, this tunnel. There could be some crates here. There is. Hmm. Oh yeah, let's just go for the Omni Gel option. Okay. And unfortunately, this is light armor and Garrus wears medium. So let's go. So I think from here we can head on back to the Normandy. This, uh, noticing this level one hazard isn't really triggering. We're not getting the, um, that toxicity bar. It just says that it's a hazard and that's it. It works for me. Okay. All right, let's head back to the Normandy. Missions are complete. Let's just check our journal just to, to be sure. Yeah, the only thing we've got... Wow, we even got all of the quest things except for the, the minerals. We're short on some of the minerals. Well, all of them except for one. But I'm not going to worry about that. So we've done everything. Everything we've got on our menu. And, um, yeah, go to Ilos. That's all that's left. Now... I'm scared to look at this, the, the experience level. All right. 746. And we need 862. I hope we can do it in this final run with the Mako. Maybe close. Maybe close. All right, well, I'm going to end the video here, and we'll be back to conclude Mass Effect. This is Hill, and I'm out. <laughs>